Hi friends, so this video is going to be the long awaited, I feel like, and some of you guys probably feel like if you guys watched my recent what's in my bag video, it is going to be a what's in my makeup bag, um, a moving edition. So, uh, if I mentioned it like so many times, like I'm getting like tired of mentioning myself, but, um, this is the bag that is going to be literally my best friend for a couple of weeks, possibly, basically, or whatever, <laughs> um, that I've packed up and it's basically the makeup that I will be wearing for a while. I pack up all my makeup that is back there, well, back there, I pack up all of that, um, I, of course, won't have any makeup. The only makeup I'll have is what's inside this beautiful, beautiful bag. So, the bag looks like this. It is a pink color with purple and a, a turquoise type of print on it. It's like, like cheetah. Um, top looks like this, and it goes all the way around. I did get this bag from Target, and it was in the dollar in the dollar section but I believe it was three dollars yes it was three dollars I still have this um, name thing it came with so yeah it's by contents by Allegro or Allegro um, yeah it has a website I'll put the website down below um, if that will do anything but yeah it says it was three dollars and I, like I said, I got it in the taller dollar section. And I got it last year around, actually around this time. It was around like this summerish time. So, yes, let's open up the bag and let's see what goodies are in here. So, opening up the bag right away, it looks like that. So, this bag is fully, fully packed. Um, especially to be somewhat of a smaller bag for such a long type of a thing, you know, like since people who usually does want to have like a bigger bag to have more of a variety, but I feel like everything I need really fits in here, so yes. So first things first, I'm just going to start um, pulling out things and showing you guys. So right on top I have the powder I am going to be using now. Um, you guys probably might be kind of surprised, and it's the Maybelline Fit Me 355 powder. It looks like this, um, and I'm in the shade 355 Coconut. This used to be my Holy Grail powder um, until I got the Max Studio Fix, and, and now I feel like I have two Holy Grail like um, face powders. So yes. Um, I need to use this up also because it's starting to get, I feel like, nasty on the side, like over here. So I'm going to finish this up. Um, inside, of course, it has um, a mirror and it has this part where this loofah thingy, um, loofah, <laughs> powder puff thing was at. And of course I took that out because that can get annoying. So yeah, this is going to be my powder. Um, next is this Pop a Beauty Bright Up Your Life um, Eyeshadow Trio in a Barely, no, Naturally Bare. It looks like this. Um, I did use this in my um, Everyday Face Makeup Look, which I will link down below. Um, I've been loving, loving this little trio. Um, I've been using mostly these two colors on this side, and I'm wearing that right now. Um, it gives you a nice, very natural look. Um, something that I will be wearing since I'm not going to want to put on, like, a full face of makeup to be unboxing stuff or putting things away or moving stuff. Like, I want, I still want to wear some type of makeup, so I just don't look like, ugh. But, um... I don't want it to be too much. So that is a very, very nice um, little trio thing. So next is a blush. This is by Miss Miss Chick. 
and it is um oh miss oh it's by mystic by clean colors so it looks like this i have it in 05 redwood i did get this blush from shopmissa.com um yeah and that's where i only seen these blushes and i wish i would have got more so when i do another um like buy stuff in there and then do a haul i know i'm going to be purchasing more of these because i really really like these blushes so yeah it looks like that i decided to go with this nice red wood color because i wanted like i said something more natural so i didn't want to wear pink um nothing like too bright i just wanted to look very very natural so i feel like this redwood color will look perfect next is my highlighter and it's actually a bronzer it's by pixie it's in summertime it looks like this i did get this in my one of my ipsy bags and i'm so freaking happy because i would have never um, purchased anything from Pixie, and I have seen Pixie before, I've seen it in Target, but I, I don't really, it doesn't grab my attention like other brands do, like, to me it's not really a attention grabber, even though it has really nice packaging, um, it can sometimes, I feel like, but this is all my opinion, in stores come off looking more of a, I guess you can, I wouldn't say, like, it's kind of like a, sophisticated but not so fun I don't know something like that <laughs> um, so that that's my opinion of course but now using this and I love this and I also like the um, highlighter the liquid one I have I I should have pulled it out but I'm not using that but I also like that so I have two things I like for pixie which is very exciting um yeah Next is a concealer, and it's by Sheer Cover, and it's the Duo Concealer. I have it in light slash medium. It looks like this. Um, I don't use the light um color. Like, I try it out, and it doesn't work for me, of course. Um, but this brown color over here works perfectly for under my eyes, because that's basically what I use, just use concealer for is under my eyes. So, Yeah. It works perfectly and then, you know, set it. It's great. So this is the concealer I'm going to be using. Okay, so next I have two mascaras, which I've been wearing. And it's also in my everyday um, makeup look for this summer. And it's this um, L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original in Black is Black. This is a, like, mascara classic for me. I love this mascara. And the other one is Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline in Royal Blue. Um, looks like this. And the color looks like this. You guys really, really need to go out and get this color. Hope you guys can see that. Maybe that helps. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. Um, and when it dries, like I think I said this before, when it dries, it's not so intense as when it's wet. So that is perfect. Um, the eyeliner... I think I have two in here. Yes, I have two eyeliners in here. And the two eyeliners I have in here is the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Telescopic. And this is a liquid eyeliner. Um, if you never use anything from the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic line, I suggest you guys do. It's one of my favorite lines. Um, I like the pencils. I like this. I like, um, well, there's one pencil I don't like. And it's like the charcoal -y um sharpen I, I don't know which one it was but it, it was horrible <laughs> but yeah um there's mascara i like from them it's there's a lot i like from the telescopic line and that um well liquid eyeliner this liquid eyeliner is really really easy to use so yeah it comes like that so it has a little point on it you guys it's so so easy so if you're not really good at liquid eyeliner this is the way to go um, next is this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Pencil in Velvet, and I have it in Black Velvet. Um, it looks like this. It is, this is so creamy, oh my goodness. Look like that. It's Black Velvet, and of course you can put it on, you can smudge it out. I love using this pencil on my waterline, on the bottom lash line. Um, it kind of 
it just darkens up the eye. That's why I don't put it on top. Like, any other eyeliner can go on top. But I feel like this works great for the bottom for, like, making it dark and intense. So, yeah. Okay, next is going to be something which you guys are going to be like, why is that even in your makeup bag? It has nothing to do with makeup. Yes, I know it has nothing to do with the makeup. The Gillette but... Venus with Embrace. Well, Snap with Embrace. And it looks like this. It comes in this beautiful, beautiful little carrying case. It is a nice travel size um, razor. So you lift it up and whoa, your little razor's in there. Um, and you snap it out by just pulling it out. It comes out nice and easily. And it looks like this. So, yeah, and you get five blades. Um, with this, all you have to do is wet it and shave. So, yes, that is going to be perfect. And that's why I put it in here because if I need to shave and I can't find my shaver or I can't find anything, um, at least I'll have this little to-go thing and it will be perfectly fine because I can just wet it, go in the bathroom, shave, you know, whatever. I'm thinking ahead, you guys. Okay, so next I have an eyelid primer. You can't forget your eyelid primer because, oh my gosh, um, you are going to be sweating and everything, so you have to have your eyelid primer to make sure your, oh my gosh, to make sure your eyeshadow stays on all day and looks nice. Um, and this is the e.l.f. eyelid primer in sheer. This is also a classic, classic, very pretty. Um... Okay, next I have like three lip products, you guys. Three. Um, first one is a lip glass, and it's the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Glass in Forever Rose. I feel like I talk about this product over and over and over again. Did you guys ever go out and like buy it or go inside a MAC and try it out? Because um, I don't know why people don't talk about this color. This color is so freaking pretty. Um, it looks like this. It is a nice rosy color, and inside it looks like this. Yes, it is very, very um, creamy, and it has like a smell so good. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you guys really go and try this out. Um, I think it's kind of expensive though. It's like I'm pretty sure it's twenty bucks if they didn't go up. Um, next is a Bare Minerals lipstick in Moxie. Well, Bare Minerals Moxie Lipstick in Get Ready. Um, it looks like this. It's just a little um, sample size one. But the color is so, so pretty. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Let me swatch this for you guys. Which, that's not going to help. <laughs> um, I'll swatch it, like, right here. Look at that. It's like a nudie, pinky color. Which kind of stains. Yeah, it kind of, I rubbed it. And of course it left kind of like a stainy thing. Oh, it smells like candy. It smells so good. Um, so yeah, that's another lip color. And the last lip color that I, um, packed is another nudie pink color. And it's actually in, um, it's Revlon, I should say. In Color Burst, Revlon Color Burst Lipstick in 096 Petal. Um, it looks like this. And the color looks like this. I don't know which size looks better as long. <laughs> yeah, so it's just a petally color. It's just nude. Um, so, yeah. Okay, the last thing, you guys, I have in my makeup bag is, of course, what every girl needs to put on her makeup. And it's a nice big mirror. This is the Sephora mirror. Um, it's... The one with the big side, like the zoom zoom side, and the one with the not so zoom zoom side. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't want to blind you guys or anything, but, yeah, mirror. Perfect. So, that is everything inside makeup bag. So, yeah, like I said, that was a lot of stuff inside my makeup bag, but it's everything I'm going to need. And all that stuff fit inside this little bag. It's like a magic bag. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed what's inside my makeup bag. And if you guys have any questions on the product, please let me know. 
Um, and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.